time for our Clay City Skylines 2. This is the area before where I had uh, tried to alleviate traffic. But now I want to focus over here in the first area that I built. All right. So here's the highway. Um, uh, right, so this is what originally came with the game. Then we've got these guys here. We've got these trams <coughs> going along Main Street. We've got these people complaining about their um, crap fish cranules. Wow. Um, but uh, so, yeah, we've got these guys going along here. Um, it's a high density business. This is low density. OK. Um, and then here we've upgraded at least temporarily to um, interesting. What in the world did we do here? Good night, Sam. All right, so we've got we've got the stops here. Um. Okay, so we do have things split there, and then that continues on that way. All right. Um. Just wanted to take a look at what's going on here because this is our way into the city. However, there is not the traffic I expected to be here. I think because our traffic was happening back here, but I think I've alleviated it all at this point. Yeah. All right, cool. They solved problem, which is great. After all that time having so much traffic over here. What's going on here? Oh, it's just a traffic light. Okay. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. It's just two streets uh, going over a highway. Why not? Why not? All right. Um, okay. Cool. Um, we do have a lot of traffic here. What's happening here? Where are people trying to go? Like, why are these people just not... Wait, what? All right, I see what's happening here. All right, this is bananas and should not be allowed. And how do I stop it from happening? Um, it's a good question. Hmm. Well, I th this is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Is making a median do it? Let's see. Forests are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. All right, this is a highway. Got a few highways here that I'm not sure necessarily should be highways, but. Um, all right, so I think I need to somehow figure out how to stop this from happening here, and that'll alleviate all that traffic that's building up there. Um, well, I, I mean, there's one easy answer, which is to make it into the other kind of highway. The, the urbanized highway kind of seems a bit overkill for this area, but maybe Bedford Gardens is just really growing, and so maybe it makes sense. Maybe maybe this is becoming that type of highway. Um, I think what I want to do. Let me see. So Bedford Gardens is there. There's nothing here. But maybe we want to expand it. And um, same thing here with Prospect Street. It's kind of just dead ends. Um, it, 
So right now, let's see, people coming from here, from the industrial area, they want to go on the highway. Well, I guess they could come. They've got a few options, I guess. They could go that way. Uh, no, wait, they can't get there from there. They can, I guess they can come around this way. <laughs> uh, at any rate. All right. I think what I want to do with the Chester Highway is, let's see. So here we don't have any traffic lights whatsoever. Um, we've got a 65, got a 70. All right, let's see here. So, we, and we've got this park low essentially. Um, All right, I guess what I'll do is starting, let me pause it for a second. Um, we're gonna redo this, and I'm actually gonna redo this as a, um, oh boy. I want to do this as a raised highway, but that would kill traffic coming off of Willow. Thank you. 
That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. Right, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. So I've got, let's see, these guys coming off here, these guys can go there or there, um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, okay, right, the people from... Magnolia can't get over here. Um, let's see. I start over here. So if we go uh, out, then maybe don't go 60, maybe go 41. We had to go to 60, okay.
So maybe here we just make this two lane. There we go. All right. We've got all our directions sorted. And then the reason I raised it is so that we can kind of continue underneath here. Oh, we've got to connect over here. Whoopsie daisy. All right. So. go. Alright, very good. Except that I messed up something here for this happy hard copy whatever. There we go. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna grow out a um I'm going to grow out the, uh, residential here, uh, school is very full, we'll add another, the area, oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, gym, just one of these portables. There you go. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Did I mean to connect that? I don't remember what I was doing with that. Um. At any rate. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring Cypress out. Um, so to some degree, so I, I think this would probably mostly be a medium density area given the, um, given what's going on here with the, uh, with the highway situation. But before I get to that, I do think that this road here is definitely a collector of sorts with the um, fact that it leads. I mean, it's almost an arterial, the fact that it, it kind of goes right into, well, it doesn't, it actually doesn't go into the highway Elizabeth does, but it, but I would say at least up to here, People might be trying to get down into Pearl, get to the highway, um, or they might be coming up Ollie. Um, no, that's not actually a way to get on the highway. The, the only way for Bedford Gardens to get on here is to come to Elizabeth Street, um, which... They can only do up here uh, or back here. Um, hmm. <laughs> Is this what I intended? Did I want? Because here we ended up some for I ended up. Oh, I ended up making this one way. But I do I want it to be one way. I don't. I don't think that makes sense. If anything, it, I think it should be one way the other way. Let's, let's see how that looks. That makes sense. 
Yeah, I think that makes more sense. And if that's like that, then yeah, let's let's um, upgrade Elizabeth before we do anything else. Um, let's have Elizabeth become a medium road divided. Divided, divided. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That might, in the future, maybe we want to take advantage of uh, having a tram or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a tram makes sense. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty big neighborhood. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. All right. So let's start here because for sure... I mean, that guy got messed up, but we're not, like, destroying stuff, and we'll do that. Does that make sense? Or is that too many lanes now? Um... <laughs> you know what? Maybe we'll let it be a... Do we want it to be two-way? Hmm. Alright, um... Let's see here. You know what? I am going to bring this back to what it was before. Uh, we're going this way. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, <coughs> da -da 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 -da. um. So we've done our upgrade. Um, all right, we're going to need a proper big school. Uh, where's our clinic? Didn't I make one? But I did. All right, we've got a transformer station here. Oh, I need to link that back up, I think. All right, um... Let's see here. Did we crematorium? Did we lock you to Bedford? Okay. You have zero vehicles in use. Why? Why are you not picking up this person that needs a hearse? This is bonkers to me. Um, and then clinic wise, don't we have a clinic somewhere? <laughs> what? It's like right there. I don't understand. <laughs> it's right here. Just, it's right there. Um. Okay. So I expanded that street there. Um, which will help get people <laughs> uh, onto the highway. Um. So. I think, let me look at my lane math here on Holly Street. No, oh, wait, these are cars parked on Holly Street? What in the, this doesn't make any sense. How far are these people walking after they park their cars? Um, hmm. all right, um, All right, I think to make the lane math work a little better, uh, we definitely want to upgrade this road, so let's do that. All right, and then... Uh, all right, so now what we need to do... Is pull this guy back. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. 
Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Ah, oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden. Right, realistically, we would not be able to move the police station. Maybe we that road stays stuck that size. Um. My sisters say whoever you got playing. Let's make our district. Pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes. I'm gonna go, let's see. That must be most exacerbating. Classical I'm gonna go in here. Been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful camps. I'm going to call this, uh, Highway Park. Division is with us in the studio today to talk about why they're contracting with outside <coughs> agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Oops. All right. And then... Let's see. The Prospect Street. People coming up Prospect. Um, don't have a way to get on the highway, do they? Hmm. All right, I think probably what makes... Makes sense here to do a large roundabout uh, with trees, and we'll do the same over here, um, and then that will allow us to take a medium road and essentially. Um, let's see, we'll go up. And we'll go here then. Um, there we go. And then we'll do the same here. So that people have a chance to get onto the highway. So I think that makes a lot more sense compared to what we had before, even though it, yeah. So, got Prospect Street here. I'm gonna have Prospect Street, um, which was going to all this uh, industrial here. Oop, there we've got a fire. Oh, a fire, ours on fire, I admit. All right. Um, do we have fire coverage here? I hope so. Uh, where is it? Over there. Really? Interesting. I'm going to build another f small fire station over here. I'm going to say that this one is for Bedford Gardens. All right, so back to Prospect Street. Um, it's, this, it's essentially almost functioning as a rural highway in a way but I think I'm gonna shrink it down as it comes here I want it to meet up with Cypress I think <laughs> so let's see let's see this is a three and three let's grab a four and four okay 
Um. Alright, and then... Alright, let's do our... Get up and over the highway here. Anything happening? Oops, wrong tool. Mm. And let's loop it. Let's go complex curve. Then go up and over. Meet up with that guy over there. That uh, was a complete fail. Let's not have this going on here. Let's try that again. Let's start by doing this. Okay. There we go. Get that connection going. All right, so let's go ahead and plan out Highway Park. <laughs> uh, let's start out over here and let's see I think we'll have we'll kind of go go up from here we'll go this way maybe stop there so this is kind of like the outline Want to leave some room for the highway to grow. I go, let's see. What are the boundaries of my... Okay, so I'm about at the bottom of, of the boundaries there. So now we're going to come this way. Let's go. Again, leaving some room there. Yeah, maybe we'll, let's see come here, but we'll have this be a medium roundabout. Okay. So, in here... I think along here I'm going to build maybe, maybe commercial. Maybe some offices. Got some parking though. We'll put one here. Um, I know. No, no, no. Not how I wanted this one to attach. Um. There we go. We'll put that guy there. That guy there. Um, 
So I will go ahead and plop an office plot there, as well as some commercial. Uh, and then over here, I want to do uh, residential. Let's see. You know what? I think there's something kind of interesting about about this shape here. Let's see. What do we do with it? All right, so maybe we come up with an alley. All right, I don't want any street parking here, so let's do trees. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere. Uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh... There we go. Know about it. No so let's grab an alley. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. We'll have some parking off of here. Let's see. This is how many cars... Doesn't look like a lot. One. Wide. Nope, not what I wanted. Kind of what I wanted, but not what I wanted. <laughs> Alright, so what we'll do is we'll do... This is huge, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. And this is also bigger than I would like, but maybe would would this make sense? Would there be an underground? It could be if it's a big enough neighborhood. I actually just went to a place that was kind of like this. So maybe we'll do that. And then so along here, we will have um, our apartments we'll do here, here, <coughs> and these are North American style, that's fine. Um, and let me take a look at what this looks like right now. Um, Alright, so I, then, in this case, we, let's see, how do we make a node? I think we double click, right? So if we do a node there, so now, nope, that didn't work. So maybe we have to just make a little fake street off of here, and then delete, delete. Why don't they have, oh, okay. Um, Alright, so then... Let me see what our zoning looks like. Do we have any of our tiny parks that can fit here? Um, You know what? I like it. I'll put the dog park right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a path from the dog park. And it touch there? No. Okay. Then here, another a small apartment complex and a larger apartment complex. <coughs> um, 
Then if we go here, so now let's see if we go back behind this guy. Like that. All right, then we throw another. Let's do all that. Um, so then going back to our pathway, let's say we kind of went up like this. Go. All right, so now let's grab some trees. line tool and do bushes along the path okay and then back to uh, trees we were doing this one right yeah now we're back to single now. Three. Okay, that's all that fits there. Okay. Then I think I'm gonna do more pushes here. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there in a second. Pushes here. I love it. I love it. Okay. This neighborhood is really coming together. All right. We definitely need to fix this situation here. I want to see if I can talk some of these guys in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. about that little junction there but back here I do know that I want lots of trees Just use the line tool, I think. Nope. All right. And we'll just plant them individually.
Alright, that's good enough, I think. Alright, so now... Let's finish off our neighborhood here. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys? What? We're on the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Oh, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right, let's see here. So in terms of Sims walking, they can go up this way. They can go parking. They can go to the dog park. All right, I think I like this neighborhood. I think this is good. All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so... Uh, I do want to... Let's see if we can get a better situation here this time. Plant trees all along the highway here. Its own little neighborhood here. Yep. All right. I think that's pretty good. All right. Perfect. Maybe we do something. Not sure what I want to do in here. Maybe I want to make an actual park in here. We'll see. Um, I don't know if that makes sense though. Maybe what I do actually is um, come up, and maybe we go. Maybe to about right there. Maybe, let's see. Maybe like that. We have like a little, like a little business park or something. All right. These guys are cool being here. We'll just do, well, no, let me control it. I want to control it. So let's do, I 
maybe that. Maybe there. Maybe a small one there. Plant some more trees. the small plazas, what those look like. Maybe we have one here just to kind of, you know, give a little, little park, a little space for the homeless. <laughs> but, uh, we'll park here for, uh, people when they're they're not at work I guess all right cool so we've got that and I think it's about time for our drive about Is there anyone in our new neighborhood here Um, garbage truck. You know what? We'll follow him. See, he's driving through the neighborhood here. Um, let's get up behind him here. Let him drive through the neighborhood. So I haven't got my folks up to happiness yet, but we'll get there. Hey, wait, we're supposed to be following you. What's going on here?
All right, this has been Eric playing City Skylines 2. I will see you next time. Goodbye.